the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 248, Ezekiel 18 to 20. Ezekiel's metaphor of the two lions. God, who judged each person according to his deeds, commanded the people to depart from all sins and to renew their mind and spirit. First point, the people of South Judah, who were taken as captives, blamed their ancestors for their fate. The people of South Judah, who were taken as captive to Babylon, had the following misunderstanding about God. What do you people mean by quoting this proverb about the land of Israel? The parents ate sour grapes, and the children's teeth are set on edge. Jeremiah, who heard this in Jerusalem, convinced the people that this was their misunderstanding. The people thought that they were taken for the sins of their fathers and ancestors. In order to tell the people that this was a misunderstanding, God told them about the righteous father and the sinner son. The sinner son was surely to die. The second was about the righteous son and the sinner father. The righteous son was to live and the sinner father was to die for his sins. The righteous person that God referred to was firstly someone who served only God. The second was someone who lived a clean life. The third was someone who protected their neighbors. The fourth was someone who lived according to justice and righteousness. The fifth was someone who kept God's laws. As such, God explained to the people that it was due to their sins that they were being punished. Furthermore, God told the people who wished to leave Babylon as soon as possible that they were to stay there for 70 years. This was because the 70 years in Babylon represented punishment and education. Second point, God declared that he did not find joy in the evil perishing. Despite proclaiming judgment on South Judah through Jeremiah and Ezekiel, God still waited for the people of South Judah to repent. God explained that if the righteous sinned, then they would also be put to death. God furthermore explained to the people that their misunderstanding was to be fixed. The reason the people complained so much was because they could not accept their punishment. They believed that God was not powerful enough to save them from the Babylonian Empire and that they were being punished for the sins of their ancestors. Ezekiel was to explain to the captives who were already taken to Babylon of Jeremiah's message. He also told the people to repent. Third point, God spoke of the fall of South Judah through the metaphor of the two lions and the vineyard. God commanded Ezekiel to come up with a lamenting song for the officials of South Judah. Ezekiel wrote five lamenting songs in total. The first was the lament for South Judah. The second was the lament for Tyre. The third was also the lament for Tyre. The fourth was a continuation of the lament for Tyre. The fifth was the lament for Egypt. The lament for South Judah in chapter 19 brought to surface the seriousness of God's judgment on them. David's descendants had become like burnt grapes. God gave the metaphor of two lions to illustrate the fall of South Judah. The two lions here represented Jehu Ahaz and Jehu Yachin, and the grape tree represented the last king Jedekiah. Regarding Jehu Ahaz, God explained that he would be taken to Egypt and he would die there. As for Jehu Yachin, he would be taken to Babylon, 
while he would be sent to prison for 37 years. Although he would be set free after this time, he would not be able to return to Jerusalem. The metaphor of the grave tree was in reference to Zedekiah. Zedekiah would be dragged to Babylon and South Judah would completely fall. All of God's waters soon became fulfilled. Fourth point, God told the elders who came to Ezekiel during captivity of their rebellious history. To the elders of Israel who came to Ezekiel, God told them of their rebellious history and how their question to God in itself was inadequate. God explained how the people forgot about the covenant God made with them 900 years ago on Mount Sinai and continuously worshipped idols. They did not listen to God's prophets and all they focused on was idol worship. The people not only worshipped idols, but they went as far as to offer long offerings. But these people came to ask God why they were being punished. And so God told them that they had no right to confront God. God once again confirmed that their judgment had been made and finalized. Fifth point, God told Ezekiel that the 70 years in Babylon would be filled with punishment and education. Through Ezekiel, God explained how South Judah would fall, how Babylon would take them as captive, and how after 70 years in Babylon, they would be able to return. God went through his relationship with South Judah and warned them of their time to come in Babylon. Although they would be taken as a captive to Babylon, God would still hold on to his covenant and ensure that the 70 years was filled with punishment and education. God furthermore told them that after 70 years, they would be able to return as a holy citizens in a kingdom of priests. God's words were fulfilled 70 years later. This is what Cyrus, king of Persia, says, The Lord, the God of heaven, has given me all the kingdoms of the earth, and he has appointed me to build a temple for him at Jerusalem in Judah. Any of his people among you may go up to Jerusalem in Judah and build the temple of the Lord, the God of Israel, the God who is in Jerusalem, and may their God be with them. God then went on to give Ezekiel the metaphor of the burning wood to symbolize the burning down of Jerusalem. The reference to the south side of the forest departed to the land of South Judah for the people who were already taken to Babylon. God's reference to all the south and north departed to the entirety of South Judah and North Israel. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading. This is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.